Good morning from the floor of the CME. This is Chris Robinson with your Traders exclusive comment today, Tuesday, the 1st of December, starting off the month uh, with a bullish tone led up really in the grains with soybean and corn. Wheat uh, is, is trying to carve out a bottom here, but wheat's kind of a different story. So the three things I want to talk about today are the technicals in the soybeans. Soybeans, uh, the rally in the past six days have rallied back 40 to 50 cents. Uh, that's a good 50% retracement of the recent move. We had about a 80 to 90 cent downdraft from the October highs to last week's contract lows. Um, we've come back halfway. Take that with a grain of salt. A lot of people look at that as a pivot point, a halfway back point. Where are the funds? The funds are still short the grains. They're short 40,000 soybeans, 40,000 contracts of soybeans. They're short about 85,000 contracts of corn and about 50,000 contracts of wheat. Corn, kind of trying to carve out a bottom here. It's 10 cents off its lows. Uh, that is a one month high for corn as well. We got some friendly news with the, uh, with the EPA announcement yesterday with the blended uh, announcement uh, that's supportive for uh, corn demand, at least a knee jerk reaction. So that's number two. Looking at the corn, uh, we've had a decent bounce. Is it gonna extend? What are the headwinds? The headwinds are the fact that the funds are short 85,000 contracts and there's a lot of corn out there. Moving over to the wheat, we've had a lot of deliveries uh, in uh, uh, the December month it, as, as uh, expiration goes off, off the board here. How much? Well, we had 2,500 a couple days ago, about another 1,700 last night. That has really wreaked havoc with the March, uh, the Dece March wheat spread. Take a look at that. Um, I don't recommend getting involved with it but it does give you trading opportunities. And when I do this video, when I do this comment, I'm trying to point you towards the direction of possible opportunity. That's really what we're looking at here. Uh, so at the end of the day, we've had a good bounce in soybeans and corn. Is it gonna extend? We'll have to wait and see the rest of the week. Um, as far as what the, the, the weak leg of that, uh, the, those three is, is the wheat. The wheat continues to be under pressure, um, dancing around its contract lows. Yesterday, March wheat got within three cents of its contract lows. Um, some bottom pickers stepping in here, looking for some sort of a bounce. Again, whatever you do, if you're getting uh, get along here, or if you're trying to sell the rally in the in the grain in the uh, wheat or corn, excuse me, in the soybeans or the corn, whatever you're doing, make sure you have your stops. If you don't have good stops in, you're just rolling the dice. Uh, that's the key. If you're going to be speculating, you've got to make sure you know where your exit is before you get into the trade. From the floor of the CME, this is Chris Robinson. Hope you're having a great day.